This tutorial is about data funnels, specifically how to create data funnels in CenterView. There are two main ways of creating data funnels in CenterView. One is by using this button up here on the toolbar, which allows you to create a data funnel, which isn't attached to your dashboard yet. The other way is if you already have a dashboard with something like a graph that you want to attach data to, you have your graph selected, and over here in your object palette, there is an item which says Data Funnel New, which allows you to create one, or you can reference an existing one, or copy an existing one. So we are going to create a new data funnel. And we are going to do something with our recent Olympics. So here's a website which has statistics from the 2008 Olympics. If we copy the URL, we can paste it into a data funnel using a URL. There's various ways you can collect data from external sources. One is from a URL. Here we will paste in our URL and have it go to China and get our data. After it gets the data, there's various tables in the HTML. We can pick the table that looks like our data. This is the data that we were interested in. CenterView will switch you to the file browser and it will show the content of the data funnel here. One of the things we can do is do some transforms or clean up the data by using our object palette. We can filter the data. One of the things we want to do is remove column 1, which is some arbitrary ranking, and column 19, which is also some arbitrary ranking. So we will disable columns 1 and 19 you'll notice that those columns are no longer there. Another thing we would like to do is remove the prefix off of the names of the countries. So we can do a change values from a regular expression. We want to exclude the first row because typically your first row is column headers. We want to apply it to columns 1 and our regular expression we will use is we want an uppercase letter three of them followed by a space, a dash, and a space. And We will replace it with nothing which leaves us with clean country names. One of the great things you can do in CenterView when you're working with data funnels is here in the object browser you can see all of the transforms you have applied. You can start with unfiltered and you see all of your original unfiltered data. You'll notice that column 1 is here, our names are not cleaned up yet, and column 19 is here. If we want to walk through what we've done to it, we can merely click on the various transforms we've done and see the result. Here we have removed or filtered. Columns 1 and 19 are now missing. If we go down to this one, we will see that our names are cleaned up. There's a few ways you can edit your data funnel. You can right click on this data funnel item and there's a item that says edit using wizard. You can also right click up in the file view and get the same item. There are several ways of creating data funnels. One way we're going to create a data funnel is from an existing data funnel. If we have an existing data funnel, we can pick our, we want to select some data out of an existing data funnel. We can say we want to use our Olympic count data, and it will load that data in. Now we can apply transforms to the data. So one of the things we might want to do is filter. I want to disable or remove columns 6 through 
17. And we are left with just the men's medal information.